So we all know that uh, common friends and relatives, including patients, are again coming down with COVID-19 and they actually come in increasing numbers. Thankfully, though, almost all of our patients or friends are reporting mild symptoms, let's say with one day of spike of fever and occasional cough or symptoms. Now, what is important is that most or all don't need hospitalization simply because most of our patients or friends or relatives are either vaccinated and recently boosted. So we know that once a person gets COVID-19 positive antigen test, definitely they are categorized as infectious or contagious, and therefore they need to be isolated and those friends exposed should be quarantined. What then are the guidelines for isolation once person is positive for COVID-19? Let's watch this. So COVID-19 cases in our country have been at ultimate low levels in the past few months. In fact, the Philippines has been categorized as a very low-risk country in terms of COVID-19 cases. However, after so many months of low cases with recent increase in cases as evidenced by the rapid rise in the total number of active cases in our country, it is therefore best for us to review how to approach COVID-19 cases in terms of proper isolation and quarantine. Now, once a person is positive for COVID-19, then that person definitely should isolate with the purpose of preventing COVID-19 virus from spreading to other contacts. Getting isolated, therefore, is an obligation Likewise, it is one's responsibility to follow, to protect your loved ones and friends from getting COVID-19. So if you got COVID but asymptomatic, then you tested antigen positive, but you are fully vaccinated, then please do isolate yourself. Don't go out and expose others for at least seven days from the time you got your positive result. If, however, you develop symptoms on the third or the fourth day or any time during the isolation period, then start again as day one on the first day you develop your symptoms. Then count up to seven days before you end your isolation period. If, however, you got COVID-19 positive test, you're still asymptomatic, but you are unvaccinated, then please isolate longer, and this time for at least 10 days from the positive result. And again, if any time during the isolation period you develop symptoms, then you start again as day one, the day you got the symptoms. Now, if you got COVID-19 positive test, this time, you are symptomatic, but only mild with fever and cough, but you are fully vaccinated, then isolate for at least seven days from the start of symptoms. You can safely stop the isolation period on the seventh day as long as you have no more fever for 24 hours and symptoms are improving. Now, if you are symptomatic, but only mild, and you are unvaccinated or just partially vaccinated, let's say only one of the primary series, then isolate longer for at least 10 days from the start of symptoms. You can only safely stop your isolation on the 10th day, as long as, again, you're a febrile without fever for the past 24 hours, and literally your symptoms are improving. Now, the isolation procedures change 
if you develop moderate symptoms like pneumonia, wherein you require oxygen, or if you are an elderly with mild symptoms, but with comorbidities like diabetes, then here is the difference. Regardless of your vaccination status, please isolate for at least 10 days from the start of symptoms. You can only safely stop your isolation on the 10th day as long as, again, you have no fever for the past 24 hours and your symptoms are improving. Now, if, however, you develop severe or critical case of COVID-19, again, regardless of the vaccination status, isolation should at least be 21 days from the start of symptoms, and that patient can safely stop isolation on the 21st day as long as that patient has been a febrile for 24 hours or the symptoms are improving. Now, if any time during the isolation period, you try testing for COVID-19 antigen and you tested negative, remind you that the test, even if it's negative, cannot in any way shorten the minimum required isolation days. Now, your siblings or your friends who have been exposed to you being COVID positive, if he or she is asymptomatic, and fully vaccinated, then that exposed individual or friend do not need to quarantine himself, but he is required to do intensive self-monitoring for the next 14 days. And during that period, to always wear a mask, even at home, especially if he is living with somebody who is categorized at high risk. If at any time the one exposed within the 14-day period develop symptoms, then he needs to start isolation counting at day one of the symptom occurrence, regardless of the testing results. If, however, the one exposed is unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, then they need to quarantine longer for at least 14 days since this is the uh, long incubation period of COVID-19. If at any time during the quarantine period he develops symptoms, then he needs to start isolation back to day one on the time of his symptoms, regardless of the testing results. It is my appeal that let's all be careful and let's all be responsible. If we get positive for COVID-19 antigen, protect yourself, isolate, and be responsible not to expose yourself to others. Follow the isolation and quarantine procedures. Let's all stay safe. This is Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon.